the ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students is the same in school district M and school district P. What is the ratio of the number of students in school district M to the number of students in school district P? So I'm going to rewrite this expression. I'm going to multiply both sides by students in P. So I've got students in P times teachers in M over students in M equals teachers in P. And now I'm going to divide both sides by teachers in M. And so what I'm going to get is students in P over students in M equals teachers in P over teachers in M. And now if I just take the reciprocal of both sides, students in M over students in P equals teachers in M over teachers in P. So I've solved for the expression that I'm being asked for, the ratio of the number of students in District M to the number of students in District P. In other words, if we could figure out the ratio of teachers, we'd be able to figure out the ratio of students. Okay, so that's interesting. Now let's move on to the statements. Statement number one, there are 10,000 more students in school district M than in school district P. So students in M equals 10,000 plus students in P. Well, hmm, right now, essentially, what we have here are four unknowns. And what we're given here is one equation. So one equation for four unknowns, that's definitely insufficient. So forget about that. Move on to statement number two. The ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students in school district M is 1 over 20. So 1 over 20 equals teachers over students in M. And we're told, because of the prompt, we know that that also equals teachers over students in P, because the two districts have the same ratio. So in a way, what we have here are two equations but two equations for four unknowns still insufficient. So now we combine these two. We get one equation from one. We get two equations from two. So that is three equations altogether. But three equations with four unknowns, we still don't have enough information. So this is still insufficient. And the answer choice is E.